Oh my gosh, that's definitely a Pikachu. Ha 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 I love it. I love it. Hello everybody and welcome back once again to Attack of the B Team. This is Dr. Darok here and today I was going to go over the Necromancy mod and make myself some brand new special minions What's out it? of different body parts and all sorts of cool stuff like that. But after doing a little bit of research and trying to get ready for the video, I realized that I needed Nether Wart first. So I went to the Nether and got myself some glowstone and some quartz, but didn't find a fortress and did not find myself any Nether Wart. So, after doing a little bit of research, I found out another way that I can get access to Nether Wart. So, I came back from the Nether and I came out here and I built my farm that I've been meaning to get to for a while now. You can see I've got a bunch of uh, witchery and natura and food plus seeds over here, carrots, potatoes, wheat, pumpkins. Uh, but the reason that I had to build the farm was because the other way to get nether wart is through the Darwin mod I've got some cows over here, but the cows are completely irrelevant because what I'm looking at today is these creatures Entity.creature.name and when I say creatures I mean creatures because that's what they're called creatures from the Darwin mod and This mod is really cool. I think you're gonna have a fun time checking out my video today uh, as I go over this, basically what happens is all of these are the exact same creature, just with different genetic factors. So they're, whether they have arms and legs or tails or ears, that's all genetic. Whether they burn up in the sunlight or die in the rain and water, that's all genetic. And their drops are also genetic as well. Uh, there's over 120 different things that you can get as drops from uh, things in the Darwin mod and Just by default. Let's um, let's waste this guy right here They're they're actually pretty tough if you look at the number of hearts that they have, but my sword's also pretty tough as well Oh, no now. I'm not this thing oh, Okay, yeah, this is gonna be a fun episode because I'm gonna be transforming into these things the whole episode um Anyway did he drop slime balls? Yeah. So that one drops slime balls, that one drops raw pork chop, that one drops ender pearls, this one drops rotten flesh, uh, redstone, and I think I think this one drops iron shovels for some reason. I don't know why Squirtle drops iron shovels, but uh, I, I'm pretty sure that it does. Uh, I was playing with it in my test world for a while, uh, trying to figure out a reliable way to get uh, the nether wart drop and it appears that there's no reliable way to get the nether wart drop because what happens is whenever you breed two of these creatures together Do I have wheat on me? No, let me go grab some wheat real quick so I can show you What happens whenever you breed these creatures together, so I'm gonna turn into mr. Batman over here and I'm gonna fly on over to my Chest in the middle of my farm. Hello minions. I don't know why you're just hanging out uh, I guess cuz I haven't given you an order I'm gonna grab some of this wheat. I'm gonna grab some of these hay, ba hay bales in case I run out. And basically, what happens? I'm gonna show you real quick. Uh, they they feed on wheat. Um, you'll see that they have different characteristics, like the length of their legs, the length of their arms, the shape of their bodies, um, what they drop, their movement speed. And whenever you breed two of them together, let's say I want to breed this Ender dude with Pikachu. Alright, so they're gonna breed together and you're gonna see that their colors are gonna be sort of combined or randomized or whatever have you and uh, it appears that it took the texture from Pikachu and right now it's in its larval stage so I do not yet know what else it's going to uh, what other properties it's going to have quit following me around you dinguses I'm gonna go ahead and breed a couple of these together Let's see, uh, zombie pig, um, ca uh, cow, squirtle cow, zombie pig, squirtle cow, all right, um, 
Pika pig? Pikachu. Pikachu. I want a Pikachu. So, oh, why? Hey, look, my ender thing has, um, my ender thing has grown to full size. And you'll see that it has the texture from Pikachu. It's got ears from Pikachu. I think those are, I think those are Pikachu ears. I'm not really sure. It's hard to tell sometimes. Um, but if I go ahead and whack my sword at this critter, it dropped redstone, which is what Pikachu drops. The, the little Pikachu looking dudes. Um, and so basically, oh, look at that. It's a blue cow. That's my squirtle cow. That's my squirt cow. Um, uh, Moodle. Moodle. It's a Moodle. It's like a, it's like a Moogle, but, um, you know, different in, in every conceivable way. So, basically, um, sometimes, occasionally, randomly, while you're breeding these, what'll happen is there'll be a mutation. Uh, they may get a texture that, uh, a, like a skin that did not belong to either of the parents, for example, including some skins that don't occur naturally in the wild, like a creeper skin or a spider skin. Um, ran the color might be random mutated, or... Ooh, is that my Pikachu? Oh, dear. Oh, what the heck? Ah! Oh, I'm gonna put you out of your misery, dude. You're just... There's something up with you. Slime balls. All right. So, really good... Really good way to get slime balls, that's for sure. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and breed these two together. I like the Enderman thing. I want more Ender babies so that I can get, like, random Ender Pearl drops. Uh, let's see here. Let's grab this Pikachu thing and this, like, other pig dude with the weird body. The body angle is another one of the factors that, uh, are taken from the parents. Can I fly? No, because I killed that thing. I'll have to transform back into a bat here in a moment. And basically, that's what that's what the Darwin mod is all about. That is literally the only thing that the Darwin mod adds is this one single mob. But the thing about this mob is, as I've explained already, that it has genetic capabilities. I cannot see for the life of me. All right. So I'm going to go about breeding these guys. Let's see what we can come up with here out of, like, this crazy, crazy mod full of weird and random creatures. And well, let's just do this. Random. Yes. Totally randomized. Okay. Great. Uh, as you can see, you, as, as per usual, you'll get, oh my, that's a lot of wheat. I had no idea that it was going to be that much. Great. That'll last for quite some time. So as you can see, basically you just breed these together with wheat. They'll carry over randomized attributes from their parents. They may have a mutation, which will allow you to obtain phenotypes, which is a uh, science-y word for genes that are not typically available in the wild. Hey, I got a creeper skin. Look at that. Okay, cool. So as, as I explained before, there is, there is not one that spawns in the wild that has a creeper skin. But, it's one of the, uh, 11, I think, skins that are available, uh, several of which are only obtainable through random mutation. So, I've got, I've gone ahead and bred those, and it doesn't look like I got another creeper skin from it. Um, I believe you should be able to use the mutations in your breeding once you've, like, obtained them for the first time. Gonna keep, just gonna keep making random things. Yes. Okay, guys, so, I haven't found nether wart yet, but I have... Uh, run out of inventory space. So the next thing I'm gonna do is head inside real quick Here and run over to my Tinker's Construct area and Show you something cool about Tinker's Construct that I haven't mentioned before uh, So if I take my uh, forgery for Tinker's Construct and I just go ahead and put in Can I put in all these? Anyway, I'm gonna put in all these uh, iron shovels into my forgery here, and you'll see that it is actually going to melt them down into the uh, iron that they are that they consist of. So each of these is going to turn into one iron ingot, as far as I'm aware, because uh, they're just iron shovels. But that's the same as getting iron ingot drops, it can, since I have uh, Tinker's Construct. So not bad, not bad. Um, 
I still haven't gotten another. I want. I want another one with a creeper skin mutation, but I haven't gotten one. So whatever. Um, I'm just gonna keep breeding these dudes until I get what I'm what I'm looking okay, for. Okay, so breeding these guys so far still yields no nether warts, but I've gained about 15 levels from them. So I'm gonna go and do something else real quick. I'm gonna go over to my XP drain and my tanks, and I'm going to get rid of this XP and show you a new addition to the Hall of Minions and uh, put in some new minions. So I've drained down my XP there um, and to the Hall of Minions you'll see that I redid the lighting down here in the Hall of Minions and I've also added this contraption up here and you may be wondering Doctor, what is that? Well, Minion, I'm about to tell you it is an XP bottler and what the XP bottler will do is the XP tank that I have up there is actually linked straight into the XP bottler and what it does is if I just come over here and get in this chest and grab out some glass bottles and put those glass bottles in these hoppers what's gonna happen is the XP bottler let me um see I need it to auto extract the bottles and I want it to do it from the back side which is where the chest is no that's the wrong side not here. Okay, from the back side. Why isn't it doing it though? That's auto eject, that's auto drink. So, is there a reason that's not working? Oh, uh, come on, I tried this already. Well, not actually, I didn't try that part. Um, do I have to, do you have to be able to like actually hit the. Okay, yeah, you've got to be able to open the chest. That's the problem. Okay, so let me put the stairs back and the bricks. Okay, bricks there. Stairs here. And what you'll notice going on here is this is actually taking in glass bottles from the chest behind it. And it is actually filling my XP into those glass bottles. And then putting them out here as bottles of enchanting. So, I can do enchanting anytime I want. Um, another thing is... Hello? Get out of the Hall of Minions! You're not allowed to be here! Okay, so, the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add two new members to the Hall of Minions today. Um, and I'm also gonna show you a new addition that I've got coming up in the works. I'm gonna grab my book and quill here and my hammer and my pallet and in my book and quill currently I've got a list of all the people who are asking to be in the Hall of Minions I forgot one actually uh, Michael Will MC okay so this is the list of the people who have asked to be in the Hall of Minions in the comments section on my video so far um, there are seven people here that want to be in the hall of- oh no, it's a thunderstorm. That's smelly, I hate that. Um, so there's seven people who want to be in the hall of minions. <laughs> Should I just do an evil laugh every time I hear thunder? There's seven people who want to be in the hall of minions, and that's gonna come all the way down to here. This block. Which leaves only three spaces left in the hall of minions. That is to say, I'm running out of space. You think that I should build a second hall of minions? Because what I've got planned is I think I'm going to build another hall of minions underneath of this one. And I'm going to put something important there, so I've got a reason to go down to it. I'm thinking maybe like an enchanting area. And I'll surround the bookshelves for my enchanting area with statues of m new minions facing in towards the enchanting table. Um... But, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and add in two new minions today. Uh, the first one that I'm going to add, let's see, I want, uh, can I not, I can't actually change this list very easily. Uh, but, I'm going to go with Honey Buddy today into the Hall of Minions. So, I'm going to build a statue of Honey Buddy. Alright, Honey Buddy, you are now part of the Hall of Minions, buddy! 
honey buddy, ha, get it? So, to commemorate this momentous occasion, I'm gonna give you a pair of Ender Pearls. And, now I'm gonna go ahead and make my other new addition to the Hall of Minions. Today I'm adding another gold minion to the Hall of Minions. And I'm just going to build his statue real quick and be back in just a moment. All right. So today's other new addition to the Hall of Minions, the new gold level minion, is Michael Will MC. Michael is a friend of mine in real life. We work at the same place together currently, although I've just found a new job, so it won't be for much longer. But he is a fan of my videos. He shares them for me, and he gives me new ideas. He's the one who asked me to start doing more random redstone contraptions, like uh, this, this little random addition to the Hall of Minions here for crafting, which... I mean, it's pointless. I mean, I could have totally put this just like anywhere, but I thought that was much cooler. And he's the one who asked me to do more redstone stuff, and he keeps giving me feedback on my videos and telling me what's good and what's not good. Um, and I hope he posts down in the comments below thanks for getting the gold level minion. Uh, if he wants to upgrade to the next level of minion, then he will have to keep sharing my videos, of course. But obviously he will so I've given him my diamond sword my original diamond sword from before I uh, created the brain here you know pinky and the brain if you haven't heard the joke before haha -ha. and I've also grabbed some of my peridot from upstairs and made him a sword out of peridot as well so yeah that's Michael Will MC and honey buddy whose statue I might be redoing because it didn't quite come out exactly the way I envisioned it. But I think from now on I may be doing two minions per episode because I've got a long list. Um, and if the list gets too much longer, I'm going to start putting signs up here with people's names instead of keeping them in the book so that I've got a wall of minions as well. So you can still be in the hall of minions before I make your statue. If you would like me to do that, just put it in the comment section below. Yes, the wall of minions is a good idea. And share my video. If you want to be in the hall of minions, just subscribe to my channel, share my video, post a comment down below that says that you shared the video, that you're a subscriber, you'd like to be a minion, you want to be in the hall of minions, and I will add you to the list. This is everybody who has asked so far. I mean, I do not discriminate. If you want to be in the Hall of Minions, I'll put you on the list. It just, you know, might be a little, might be a couple videos before I get you up in here. So I'm gonna go ahead now. I'm sure these, I'm sure these funny-looking creatures have uh, grown up by now. Um, I wonder if I can maybe go to sleep. Uh, Cause I think if you go to sleep, it'll skip through a thunderstorm. Is that right? Oh, hey, look. Speak of the freaking devil. Okay. So, I've got a bunch of critters here. Uh, still no more creepers. So that's a little disappointing, but oh well. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just breed like crazy. Just random breed, random breed, random breed. Do -do -do -do. Everybody, get your, get your breed on. Yeah, get funky. Okay. So I've got a bunch of new bunch of new things coming. What's this? Whoa, dude. You have no texture. That is that a is that a mutation or is that a bug? You have no texture. Whoa, dude. What's that? Oh, that's an ocelot texture. Awesome. Cool. That's neat. Uh so I'm gonna take down some of these things real quick. Because they're not necessary any longer. Yeah, I don't need that original zombie, really, do I? I don't want it. Okay. So there's that. Take down some of these cow looking things and stuff. This giant, like this fat blue minotaur thing. Come on, die. All right. Hey, look, apples. I got a random drop mutation, because I don't believe anything drops apples. Uh, still no nether wart, it appears. Do have apples now, so congratulations to me. Spider skin! Yes, I'm getting more mutations. 
It must be that radioactive waste over around the corner there that I haven't mentioned to anybody yet so far and doesn't really exist. Come on, purple ender slime thing. You're going down, dude. Piggy man, you're, you're done for. You're toast. Okay, there's the creeper one. There's, what is this? Oh my gosh, that's definitely a Pikachu. Ha 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 ha! I love it, I love it. Okay, I've gotta be careful not to hit this ocelot thing, cause I like that. I want the ones with the special textures. Okay, this one with the, like, invisible texture. I don't know what to do with him. I think I'll just leave him there for now, I guess. Uh, cow guy, you can go away. Squirtle dude, you can... You just go away. What's this? Is that a slime pig zombie thing? Yeah, it's a slime pig zombie thing. That's for sure what it is. Uh-huh. Take you down. Take you down. Tackle this guy. All right. Some... Ooh, it's a midget cow. Uh, it's a cow with creeper legs. That's what it is. Ha ha ha. That's cool. I really like this mod. This is really cool. This is fun. There's a lot of weird stuff. There's a thing with a spider skin, there's a thing with a ocelot skin and a creeper skin. It's fun that even though it only adds one single thing, there's still, hey, chain chest plate. I wish I would have, I hope I bred whatever dropped that, because that's a cool, that's a cool mutation. Okay, so I'm going to go clear out some space in my inventory again, real quick, and I'll be right back. Uh, but first, I do want to breed some of these guys. So, let's see, turn into a bat. I think I'm going to go with, I'm going to breed this ocelot looking thing and the creeper. See if I can get another one of either of those textures. No, it gave me a squirtle texture. What the F? What the F? What the F? Okay, I'm going to breed this spider looking thing with this enderman dude. All right. Breed this, uh, let's see, breed this Squirtle. Uh, let's just breed them all now. Breed, 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 breed! Gotta breed them all, gotta breed them all, yeah! Oh, oh, I need nether warts. Come on, guys. What is with this mod? It's too random. Maybe it's not random enough. Maybe I, I need more random. More random, please. More random. I need nether wart. Nether wart drop mutation. Please and thank you. This is a request from deep down in my heart. I want one of these babies that I just bred to drop me a nether wart. Otherwise, I'm going to be really upset. Because then I'll have to go find another fortress. Because I'm about to, uh, like, I don't, I'm not going to keep doing this video forever. I'm going to, like, quit doing this video in, like, five minutes. Because I've been recording for, like, an hour now, just in case you didn't. Like, because I know I've, I know that I've skipped probably more than half of it, but I've been recording for more than an hour now, and I've gone over my time allotment for this video, and so I need this nether wart, now-ish. You guys ready? You gonna give me a nether wart? You, nether wart. You, nether wart, nether wart, nether wart. Give me some nether wart. I'm gonna kill this creeper one. Apple. Nah. Kill the spider one. Give me the nether wart. I need it. I know you can drop it. I experienced you dropping it on my test world. This is something that I know for a well, fact. All I've got left now is the creeper things and the one ocelot guy that I didn't get rid of. Okay, one last generation. No, 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 no. Don't open that. Well, guys. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna call this video here and go find a freaking nether fortress and then I'll start the other video when I find the nether fortress because I'm kind of upset right now because I thought I was gonna get a nether wart, but I did not. So, thanks everybody for watching and uh, like, comment, and subscribe please if you would like to be a part of the Hall of Minions, of course, if you do not care to be a part of the Hall of Minions, then I could care less if you like, comment, and subscribe. But if you did, I would still I would still like that very much. I'd appreciate that. It would help me out. Hey, look, it's a random pig thing with a tail. I'm gonna kill you. Okay. 
So... Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm sorry I didn't get the nether wart today. That means it's going to be at least two more videos before I get to do necromancy, because the next video will probably be me uh, getting the whole... Oh, come on. You suck. You guys suck. So... Next video is going to be me in a nether fortress. Yeah. Isn't that going to be fun? So thank you guys very much for watching. This has been today's video. Today I went over the Darwin mod. And next time I will be in the nether, get into a nether fortress, get myself some blaze rods and some nether wartses. Fortress and wartses rhymes, don't you know? So, uh, thank you so much for watching my video. Leave a like below. Leave me a comment. Tell me your username in Minecraft. I might put you in the Hall of Minions. You're definitely going on the list, that's for sure. And if you like what I did today, if you think that I'm entertaining, if you like my videos, subscribe. Thanks, everybody, and I will catch you next time. I am ready to go nether spelunking. Actually, that's not that's not true at all. I need to go put some stuff away in a chest. Bye!